So when we're examining the respiratory system, uh, we often like to start from the front and go to the back. So we need to look at the nares themselves and see if there are any erosions and see if there's any discharge, which she has none. Um, we want to look at the eyes and see if there's any discharge. The nasolacrimal duct runs through the nose so it can get obstructed and then they'll have a discharge as a result of that. Um, and hers are fine. We want to look at the color of the mucous membranes and make sure they're not blue or pale. We want to assess capillary refill time by how long it takes for the blanched area to turn pink again. We then want to palpate the trachea and many times you can induce a cough by palpation, but you shouldn't induce repeated coughing. <coughs> then want to listen with a stethoscope. And it's important to listen over multiple regions of the chest. So the, the caudal lung fields and the more cranial lung fields on both sides. It's important that they stay standing during that. You can hear better. And then you listen with the stethoscope over the trachea. OK, the next thing that's important to do is to assess the respiratory pattern of the dog. In, in normal dogs, um, all muscular activity is used on inspiration, but it's not forced. And so they'll use their muscles to inspire, and that expands their chest. And then they'll relax, and their chest will go down in size. And that's when they exhale. Um, you want to watch and make sure that that's effortless and that there's not noise associated with either inspiration or expiration or excessive movement of the muscles, which would indicate um, that they're having a pro some sort of obstructive problem in their respiratory system.